one more visualization here that we call the king of the hill. And this one is specifically designed to explain changes over time. And we can see here, let me just explain how it works. It's kind of a bubble chart. Um, in the middle, we have the biggest bubble. It will be the artist that has the most weeks at number one on the chart. It is the king, right? It's going to be the center, big bubble. Around him will be the contenders, the people who want to take the center position from him, the other artists with less weeks on the chart. And we're going to animate over the time dimension. So we start with 1955, the backwater of Frank Sinatra, back Pat Boone. And we're going to see the Motown area. So we're going to see here the platters joining in. But in 1957, something amazing happening. Elvis Presley breakthrough with all shook up and he is the king. This is Elvis in the seventh world. He's going to have over 100 different songs on the Billboard 100. It's just dominating but the 60s come to the middle and from over the pond the greatest band in the history of music the Beatles are showing up and they're going to have 26 number one hits. They're going to have eight consecutive ones. They're just dominating the rest of the decade into the 70s but they're breaking up and this is a kind of a weird transition people. Look at that. Three Dogs Night. Never heard about them, forget about them because the next one is going to be Elton John. He's a legend. Candle in the Wind is still the number one selling single of all time. This is also the disco era. So who do you have here? The Bee Gees. I danced to their songs with my first girlfriend. And of course, they start as young singer in their, so- in their movie. It was Olivia Newton John, a giant mega star in the early 80s. And now look at that. What do you have in the 80s? Paul McCartney going to be followed up by. Michael Jackson, going to be followed by Madonna. Look at the list of names, going to be followed by Whitney Houston. This is the parade of the great we have in the 80s. Look at George Michael comes from over the phone. What a period. Paul Abdul, I have no idea what she's doing here. Now, <laughs> we're seeing Mariah here. She is going to dominate the 90s. She's going to have a fight with most two men. But look at her, she's faking to the other side and she's pushing them out. She is going to continue with 79 weeks at number one. She is going to dominate the 90s, but the 90s are coming to an end. Santana with smoothies taking over. He is going to take over that. And then it's of course a hip hop and rap. It's Nelly with songs my kids love, I cannot stand. And then Asher, he's a genius. Wonderful, wonderful song fight. But look his back, it's Mariah. She's over here again. She's looking for an open. She's a fighter. 2000, she's pushing him out. But the 80s showing up. Black IT's are taking over. And now we are getting ready to the era of the divas. Rihanna, look at her, she's taking over. Katy Perry trying. Adele is trying. But no, Rihanna is here to stay. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you, Power BI. Thank you all.